What's up, Savages? Yesterday started Game of Thrones brand new season, super pumped. But before I get into today's video, I just have to say one thing. Dear HBO Go, I hope you trip and fall into a puddle of AIDS. You're the worst. Sayonara. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Gandhi's Thoughts, brought to you by My Nutrition. I am Gandhi, and today I'm talking about TK's Fourth. Now, there was a, I was gonna do red, and I have this like cheesy sheet, like uh, the phase red team. I had this cheesy sheet that like covers my window that I was gonna throw over across it, so it's like a cast of red, so I look like satanic in here, but uh, I guess that's a spoiler for a later video. But yeah, so I'm talking about TK's Fourth right now. And here's we're gonna kind of just go back just a little bit here uh to yesterday so not very far at all basically 12 hours yesterday tk won the 2k with apathy right and everyone's like oh this is a no-brainer tk has to pick up apathy apathy is definitely going to be the person who they acquire he will now be wearing the blacked out jersey well here is going to be a curveball for each and every one of you at home Apathy is unable to attend Niagara. He will be on a cruise, he will be hanging out, drinking mimosas, looking at babes, you know. He's he's got like the, the good stylish haircut. He looks like a uh, a young Jean Claude Van Damme, so you know, and what can you do? Yeah, you know, so that's that's a complete change of direction for everything and everyone who's basically a TK fan, right? Like that changes everything. Like, oh my god, they're good. They won the 2K. Yes, apathy. Oh, we can't go to Niagara. And now the next event is this. So will TK True. Obviously, TK is going to have to go to Niagara, but how are they going to pick up a fourth, right? Like that's that's a little bit worrisome because is, you don't want to pick up someone and then have to worry about a season two dilemma. You don't want to have to worry about that. But that's basically what they're looking at. Uh, they'll be looking at a season two dilemma, so it's going to be very very difficult for the guys of TK. And uh, I should be sh 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 I should be sitting down with Sharp here uh, today with an interview to kind of cover just about everything uh, that's going to be on TK's channel. So if you guys want to check that out, by all means, go do that. But really, I don't know what they can do, right? Like I think Parasite's completely out of the equation. I don't think. I don't think he Haggy fits at all onto basically the TK mentality at period. Like I, I, I think Haggy's a vocal leader, which I do believe TK needs, uh, especially in Search and Destroy, but I don't believe <clears throat> that he's the missing link. I really don't. And Dito, well, you know, Dito is very argumentative. Uh, he's a hell of a player. I thought Dito played amazing on SB, but you know, sometimes it's a personality clash. Right, like it's just a humongous personality clash. Like Clayster on TK, everyone's kind of like, oh wow, that's a little bit odd because Clayster's like super hyped in your face, like Clax, yeah! right? And then like you know, Sharp, she's probably sitting there like, uh, I, I had like a mullet, <laughs> just like you know what I mean? It really comes down to the personalities of the guys on TK and how they mesh with other people. And I think personally. I, I don't see Parasite on it, and I don't see Dito on it. So who they will pick up as their fourth for Niagara is, I have no idea. I really hope for season two and, like, period, they just pick up Apathy, and then they just wing Niagara. I think that's the best decision they can make because I really think Apathy fits well on this team, and I don't know who else they could acquire in time for Niagara. Now, other than that, um, I, I, I don't... Like, what What do you guys think, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm tired of sitting here and say, saying, like, what I think. I think Parasite's out of the equation, and I want to say one thing here, all right? And this is how I'm going to end today's video. Right now, through the grapevine, right? And I don't know what this means with the grapevine, but through the grapevine, Parasite is still completely shit out of luck. Did Parasite burn too many bridges? Or... Do people not want to deal with curse, which doesn't make too much sense? What is going to happen with that organization? Parasite is going to be moving into a team house in an undisclosed location without a team. A little bit odd, right? And then God knows what's going to happen with Curse New York. I'm assuming Burns Off and Mochilla will still be on it because those two guys got along. What the hell is going to happen to Curse? And that is what I'm going to leave today's video off with, and we're going to visit this again on Thursday.
So, or Wednesday, excuse me, today is Monday. So we're gonna revisit this topic on Wednesday, but tomorrow I'm gonna be talking about Phase Red, right? Theories on that team, former TK member, in case you guys don't know, I'll just kinda do a brief thing. JCAP replays Classic and Theory. The team took second in yesterday's 2K. Now, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I love you, but I don't love you. Take it easy.